Hi, my name is Sarah Whedon and I work at the Amazium. Since we all get to stay home right now, we're going to talk about some activities that we can do at home together. First one we're going to talk about today is ice balloons. It's one of my favorite activities to discover, to use all kinds of things to make discoveries about water and ice. So first what you're going to want to do is find some balloons. They can be big normal balloons to make um, big ice balloons or they could be water balloons. You could even use a bowl um, just some, or just ice cubes, some way to freeze water. So then after about 24 hours or less, if you have ice cubes, you're gonna find a place that you can get wet and kind of messy. Outside is a great option if you have a tray or um, a Tupperware, something clear to see through. Um, you can also freeze things in your ice balloon like we've done here. Um, so then you're gonna take your ice and start experimenting with it. One of my favorite things to do is put salt on ice and see what happens. You can use rock salt or ice cream salt if you have it, or just normal salt will work too. So I'm not gonna touch the rock salt because I don't like how it feels on my hands. Um, and I'm gonna put a bunch up here on the top and let it sit there for a little bit. I can also start watching it and listening to it and making some observations, see if I can hear anything. I can take a magnifying glass if you have one to look really close. So once it starts going and you start making some observations, you can take a couple of different kinds of liquid and see what it looks like when you put them on there. So this is food coloring. So you can see I'm noticing some kind of river-like things happening on the ice that weren't there before I put the salt on it. You can also use a drink mix like Kool-Aid and see how that changes the colors. Or we have liquid watercolor, you can also use that. We dilute our solutions with water so it lasts longer, but you can decide how much watercolor or um, types of color you want to use. One last thing I love to do um, is to look at it with a flashlight. And we're gonna look really closely and see what we can see inside. I see lots of spiky things, some bubbles, some of it looks clear, and some of it doesn't. What's fun about this activity too is you can let it be for a little bit and let it just melt. And then after a little bit, come back and see what happens, especially if you have a big, big piece of ice. You can add all kinds of other things. Um, vinegar, baking soda, anything that you can find that's safe for you to play with that your parents or your guardians say is okay. See what happens to the ice when you mix it with it. You can take things that are metal and stick it on there and see what happens after a little while. You could take things that are wood or plastic and see if something the same or different happens. I hope you enjoy this activity as much as I do, um, and we can't wait to hear about your ice balloons and your um, adventures of discovery together. Make sure you write us um, about it and take some time to make observations and journal um, entries with us. Thanks, bye!